Many people still don't know the difference between the two Cisco firewall solutions. These are the Cisco ASA and Cisco Firepower. And in this video, we're gonna talk about their differences, capabilities, and limitations as well. And just want to give you a highlight. I am the first Cisco instructor in the world who delivered Cisco Next Generation Firewall Test Drive and this is way back in 2016. Deliver it over 30 times in 20 plus countries. And I also delivered both SSFIPS and SSNGFW courses multiple times in a live classroom environment. For those who are new to this channel, welcome. I am your host, name is Dean Armada, and I'm the internet. Action Star! And on this channel, we talk about tech careers and certifications, trivia and tutorials in cybersecurity, trivia and tutorials in cloud and data center, and my journey as an IT instructor. So feel free to check out the rest of the channel and consider subscribing. Firewall is probably the most common security appliance from an enterprise point of view. And despite of Cisco's aggressive marketing and multiple acquisitions, many network and security professionals are still familiar with Cisco ASA as Cisco's only firewall secure solution. So this is Cisco ASA. It's a network firewall. It has been around for over 15 years and delivers enterprise class firewall capabilities with arrays of form factors. And you can provision it as standalone appliance, virtual and cloud appliance, and some models are already deprecated. Now, many people are still confused about the capabilities of Cisco ASA. The answer is, it depends on which operating system or image it runs. And for these models, you may use the Cisco ASA OS. Um, it's a Cisco IOS like CLI, and you can also manage it via GUI using ASA Security Device Manager or ASDM. Its capabilities, I would say it's limited, not much of development if we compare it to the older ASA OS versions. I think it's actually less because the current version doesn't support IPS anymore. Let me highlight this again. No more a IPS for ASA OS. That solution has been retired. So it's safe to say that ASA OS is a network firewall and network VPN only solutions. But you can also use FTD or Firepower Threat Defense Image slash OS in an ASA platforms. Yes, the Firepower image running in an ASA hardware. And if you run FTD image, you don't manage ASA via ASDM anymore. You can manage it via Firepower Management Center or FMC. Not only that, it also adds more capabilities as it become a next generation firewall solution. Firepower is now the Cisco flagship for the next generation firewall solutions. And when you say next generation firewall, it has way more features and capabilities than the old network firewall. Here is the main difference between the Firepower and ASA as an appliance. First, Firepower comes with multiple hardware families. We have the 1000 series, and this is best for small businesses and branch offices. We also have the 2100 series, and this is ideal for larger and mid-sized offices. We have the 3100 series, this is enhanced for medium-sized enterprises with the flexibility to scale. Firepower has a wide range of capabilities, and this includes both network and application-based firewall, IDS and IPS, and this is based on source fire technology. We have VPN, malware protection, cloud and hypervisor support, and it can be integrated with other Cisco security solutions, such as StealthWatch, SecureX, and many others. Now, 
which operating system or image a far power appliance uses. For these models, it uses far power threat defense or FTD image, and you can manage them via far power management center or FMC. It's a central software and also hardware platform that allows us to manage multiple ASA and far power appliances with more advanced features. Now, for these models, you can also use the built-in management software, which is called FDM or Far Power Defense Manager. Far Power Chassis. This is a little different. Why? Because first, there is no Far Power Device Manager or FDM. You can't manage the firewall as a standalone device, but you can manage the chassis running FXOS separately using FCM or the Far Power Chassis Manager. Again, the chassis has its own management. And by default, there is no firewall yet. Basically, we use FCM to create one or more firewalls. This is what we call logical devices, where we assign ports, assign images, configure basic settings, and this is per firewall. And those firewall we created from FCM can be managed via FMC or ASDM. And why ASDM? It's because from FCM, we can use ASA OS or FTD image when creating firewalls. And the far power chassis models don't only have more capacity and higher specifications. It also has more features that is not supported by other far power series and ASA hardware, such as active active clustering, multi instances, and many more. Cisco ASA Pros. There are still reasons why you want to provision and implement Cisco ASA with Cisco ASA OS. And this is to use those features not available in FTD software. These are security contexts where you can create virtual ASA firewalls. And basically you have a hardware, then inside the hardware, you can create multiple logical firewalls. The second is VPNs, yes. Believe it or not, ASA has a better VPN capabilities. It can do SSL VPN, VTIs, etc. And another advantage of an ASA hardware is you have the option to either use ASA OS or FTD. The disadvantage is the hardware specification of ASA family is slower and less powerful compared to the Far Power 2100 and the 3100 series. ASA OS's advantage is its features are limited, only network firewall based, uh, not application fluent, no malware protection, and no IDS slash IPS features. It also has slow graphical user interface or GUI, not so intuitive. <laughs> yeah, I'm talking about the ASDM. I don't really see much of a disadvantage for Firepower. It's a full-fledged next-generation firewall solutions. It's application fluent with malware protection capabilities, and it can be integrated with other Cisco security solutions such as M4 endpoints, SecureX, and many more with variety of hardware options as well. The only disadvantage I see is it has less VPN features than the Cisco ASA OS. That is why we have better options, and that is to purchase and provision far power chassis based appliances where you can create multiple firewall instances with both image options, FTD or ASA. Just a little trivia before we go. Do you know that the first IDS or intrusion detection system is SNORT? It's an open source project created by Martin Roche in 1998. Then he founded the company Sourcefire where they introduced the first IPS or intrusion prevention system. Sourcefire was acquired for 2.3 billion US dollars by Cisco system way back in 2013. Martin left Cisco around 2019. He also holds over 10 security patents 
and he's still maintaining open source Nord projects. <laughs>